Last time I used one of these is when I poured my liquor in a flask to sneak into the bar. welcome back to the channel we are starting off with a hair review like always today's video is sponsored by julia hair i am reviewing this headband wig right here i love a good headband wig because they are just so easy to do so manageable you don't have to do nothing to them you just literally put them on right out the box with your headband wig you do get a couple of little goodies um i got two headbands i also got a fresh wig cap and you definitely don't have to use the headbands that come with it. You can use your own headbands. You can use a scarf, however you want to do to camouflage the edges. Sis, it is up to you. So all of the details of this unit will be down below. And if you want to see how she looks on my head, then stay tuned. combed it a little bit the natural wave pattern looked beautiful you could have just worn it just like that normal Gina would have just worn it just like that but I have to show you guys that this hair can hold a curl now look at this l l let's see what this snapback gonna do once I run my fingers through the curled hair oh yes ma'am yes ma'am I'm not even surprised I knew by the way it curled that it was gonna be beautiful like this Girl, <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. That's it, that's all I have to do to it. That is literally it. Now I can make it bigger, I can break the curls up more if I wanted to. Oh, this is just so easy and so pretty. Look at that, I'm ready to go. It literally took me to curl both sides of this hair, I'm, I kid you not, probably about six or seven minutes. That is it, that is it. And you don't have to do baby hairs if you don't want to. You can just have the headband on and just leave it like that. Me, I always put a black headband on or I use my Louis Vuitton scarf. So today is gonna be no different. This is just a headband that I already own. This did not come with this unit. All you do is put it on like that. Put it on like that there. I scrunch it up a little bit just to kind of give it a little bit of character, a little bit of, you know, oomph, as I say. Bring the hair back around to the front. And baby, you are done. You are ready to walk out the door. You look put together. You look like you really spent a lot of time on your hair, even though you got on a headband wig and curled your hair in six minutes. Okay. All right. Look at that. And then the color is beautiful. The color is beautiful. And these are the type of curls that even if you take this unit off at the end of the night, you hang it on your wig rack, on the back of your chair, whatever you want to do to it, your curls are still going to be popping tomorrow. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Julia Hair, for sponsoring today's video. Guys, if you like this unit, all the details will be down below in the description box, as well as a coupon code, the link straight to this unit. The link to their website if you want to contact them on social media on whatsapp everything will be down below never skip my description box because everything you need is right there look at this 
Gorgeous, baby, gorgeous. All right, y'all, on to that vlog. Good morning, y'all. It is the morning of my surgery. Oh my God. Um, I am about to take a shower with this, which is some um, antiseptic skin cleanser. So this is what you shower with before any type of cosmetic procedure. I'm about to shower with this. Can't put on any lotion, no perfume, no deodorant, nothing. Um, I just brushed my teeth. I'm running not really a little late. Maybe I might be like five, ten minutes late. That's okay. They changed the time on me. I was supposed to arrive at 11.45 a.m. Now they want me to arrive at 8 a.m. So, you know, that was a little last minute change. But I'm about to hop in the shower and um, pack up my little bag. And then I'm going to pick you guys back up once I'm walking out the door. Just made it up. Oh, it's Augie up here. Can y'all see? All right, I'm running late as usual, so I'm gonna pick y'all up once I get in my room. This shit fogged off. So I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing. Does it matter? No, but they just said wear a loose fitting dress. So this is just a very, very stretchy dress that I think I got from either, I want to say either African Mall or Lovely Wholesale. So this is what I'm wearing some furry slides. Uh, it's my purse, my bag, with just like my, the maxi pads that they said to bring. This is like a pad to cover um, my best friend's seats whenever she comes to pick me up. They're like a puppy pad. That's the medication that I got, that they gave me at the doctor's here at the office. And then my gown, my bonnet, then a personal belonging bag, so. All right, let me go ahead and changed now they're about to have me do a um urine pregnancy test i'm alert yeah <laughs> most of them are like dead to the world i'm done y'all i made it out i'm in my wheelchair this is alicia <laughs> she's pushing me down so I can go get in the car with my friend. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been here so many times. We got so much <laughs> stuff done. So but I'm just checking in with y'all and I will talk to you guys once I get home. It's gonna be a lot of little mini check-ins. I just got home. I'm sitting on the edge of my bed eating a filet fish. I'm sitting on a puppy pad. And I'm sore. So I'm about to eat this and go back to sleep. I slept in the car the whole ride. So I'll check in with y'all again later. Hey y'all, oh I still sound crazy. It is 6.30, almost 6.30. I've been asleep uh, for some hours. This is how I slept. If you're squeamish about seeing blood, then don't watch this video because you're gonna be seeing a little bit of that. Not a lot, but a little bit. This is how I slept. I slept on top of this. This is called a chuck or a puppy pad. You can find them at the dollar store, Amazon, whatever. This is an extra large one. So that's what I slept on top of. You see a little bit of leakage right there. I'm about to look in the mirror just to see. I'm waddling. Just to see how, um, how much secretions, how the secretions look on my bandages. All right, so this is how I look. Y'all know I got my arms lipoed, so this is the garment that I have on. It goes across the chest. The breasts are out, of course, because I didn't get any work done there. And then I have these compressions on my arms. And then this is how my legs look. 
My doctor does not put you in a faha or like a binder the first day. They said that will come on my follow-up visit. They put pads and ace bandages around the area to, um, to compress and help with the secretions for the first day. This is about as much as I can show y'all because I don't want to get demonetized or flagged, whatever. But I will say I can tell a difference at the bottom where, I t where um, he did add the fat. It and of course there's swelling, but um, I can tell a difference. Yeah, I could definitely tell a difference in that little area. Um, at the bottom. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling fine. I haven't taken any pain medicine. Um, I haven't had to take any nausea medicine. I'm about to take um, another Arnica pill, which the Arnica is for um, nausea. Um, nausea. The Arnica pills is for uh, bruising and swelling. So I'm about to take. Um, I'm about to take one. My mouth is still really, really dry. The pill they gave me to dry my secretions for surgery. It still has my mouth really dry. So. Hopefully by this evening, well, to later on tonight, it'll help. It just, it's just really bad, like cotton mouth. <sighs> I'm about to go pee, so I'm going to put y'all down for a while. I'll pick y'all back up. Y'all, my babies have been taking care. I look, I look crazy. Y'all, I look crazy. My babies have been taking care of me. Ashton laid by me and put covers over top of me. They've been coming to check on me. Then I got these strawberries in a bowl brought to me. And the, note, the little note says, hope you feel better with a smiley face. <laughs> oh, they're so concerned. And then they see all this blood. <laughs> here. And they've been, they're like, Ashton, little grown self. Is that your period? Is it the time of that month? Is it, no, it's not the time of the month. That's done with. That was you last week. You get a lot of pads. Because it's for to soak up this blood, baby. <gasps> Wait, no, 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 I don't need that pad. No, the maxi pads are to soak up the blood too, honey. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, if it was on your Okay, bed. I'm about to lay back down, enjoy my strawberries. Is her bed? Oh, yeah. She's so extra, y'all. Yeah. Oh. Ew, bye. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> You guys checking in at 2 30 in the morning 2 30 in the morning the kids are still up wide awake ashton just helped me change all of my bandages let me show you guys can y'all see kind of sort of maxi pad here maxi pads underneath ashton pulled off all my old bandages and helped me change and put new ones on so I told her she got a big payday once I'm able to drive and go to the ATM. <laughs> so I told you guys in my Q&A, you need help when you get home. Trying to do all this by yourself. And just imagine if it was on your stomach and you had a tummy tuck and, and you by yourself. You can't imagine. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's bedtime, baby. It's, it's late. You going to sleep up there with Ethan? You want to sleep downstairs? Yeah. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm just, uh, like I said, it, this was just a check-in on my progress of day one. I'm about to go to sleep. The reason why I'm just up, up is because I've literally been asleep the entire day. The car ride home, the whole time I've been here, I've only been up for very short periods of time, and then I will go right back to sleep. So uh, I'm about to take some medicine, and yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey, y'all. Welcome to day two. It is about 1.20. I've been up on and off since about 8 a.m. So, just woke up again. Um, I'm about to drink a Premier Protein. It's been in my freezer for... It's been in my freezer for probably like about three hours now. So, I'm going to let it probably sit for about like 20 or 30 minutes and then drink it let me show you guys how i'm looking i don't think i showed you guys what i slept in and changed into and stuff so my legs are still wrapped i have on some really stretchy shorts 
my arm binder, and then just a little mini tank top. So that's what we looking like. Very sore. I woke up, my hands were swollen. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hands and wrists are swollen. I have very skinny fingers and skinny hands. So this is my swollen. It's a little bit worse on this side. So I talked to my doctor's office earlier. My follow-up is gonna be on Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. So that's crazy that they made it. Because today's Friday, so I don't go back till Tuesday. They don't um, have you come in immediately, unless you are cut, because when this doctor did my tummy tuck, I came in for a follow-up the very next morning. That's probably because I had drains and I was cut, so. But this is just lipo, so, yeah. So, just checking in with you guys, nothing new. I don't know how much I'll pick up the camera or anything, so. Because literally my day is gonna consist of me laying down on my stomach, uh, getting up once an hour or once every other hour to walk around for about 15 minutes because you got to walk after surgery. So just checking in. Okay, y'all, I am checking in again. I'm about to drink some Juven. I don't know if you've heard of Juven, but this stuff, it's supposed to help out really good with wound healing and swelling and just after surgery they say this is golden like this is the new thing that everybody drinks um when my sister had her arm lift revision um about a year ago she said that this is what she really feels helped her heal so quick so and the doctor gave me this so this is called juven the flavor that i'm drinking is orange you put it in an eight ounce or a 10 ounce uh of water so I'm going to try to put it in here. I don't know if I'm able going to be able to without making a mess. So I wound up having to just use a funnel because this made life so much easier. Baby, I didn't use one of these. The last time I used one of these is when I poured my liquor in a flask to sneak into the bar. It's been years. <laughs> Anyways, this made life easier. Uh, oh, I hope it tastes good. Oh my God. I might just have to chug a little. All right, let's see. Don't smell too bad. Uh, it gives you the, it puts you in the mindset of Tang. Do y'all remember Tang that we used to drink as kids? We used to hate when my, mom, my mama bought Tang. Yeah, it tastes like Tang. I had a protein shake this morning, a Premier Protein. Y'all know Premier Proteins are, are really good. Let me show you what they look like. If you don't know what they are, Premier Protein, they're very expensive, but my Dollar Tree sells them individually. I want to say a whole box costs like $20 maybe. But my, my dollar store sells them individually so you don't have to buy them by the box. So anyway, drank one of those this morning. And then around five o'clock, I had a, a bowl of soup. And then after that, I had one avocado toast and that is it. So yeah, really haven't had much of an appetite. I've been making myself eat but that's normal after surgery. At least for me, it's normal. Have not having an appetite, sleeping a lot. So I'm just getting my walking in now, about to finish this off. And yeah, that's it. Nothing else going on. I'll probably put some the kids some food in the uh, toaster oven. Not the toast, baby, I am so old school. Not the toaster oven, the air fryer. Lord Jesus, I keep getting, let me go. <laughs> Y'all, this is not really a check-in, but, because it's like, what time is it? <laughs> Midnight. I got my robe on. Ashton has her robe on. Oh, we have a party. And they said that they made a party upstairs. Yes. So, we about to see what this party is about. Okay. She said it's a lot going on. You going to hold my hand to help me up these stairs? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. 
Ooh, okay, this may have been a bad idea. It's okay. Ooh. It's okay. Ooh. Got you, got you. You can sit. All right. I can't sit though. Ugh. I'm not supposed to be sitting down. Uh oh, said, I see the lights. Okay, they got a club. I see lights. These are the club goers, the club party people. This is what I'm sitting with. If you like, or you Where can go, sit? or you can come over here and you can lay down a little. No one else is over here. Okay. Yeah. This. Okay, light show. And we have karaoke. Karaoke on the TV? Who's singing first? Me. You are? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you sing, okay? Oh, and then I'm gonna sing. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. You can lay down. Ooh, okay. I gotta lay on my side, baby. Okay. And I have like a blanket. I'm comfortable. It's cold up here. What y'all got the air on up here? Ethan be having it cold because he be hot. What well, that I mean, number? I, I understand because his room is hot. Baby, that's why my bill was three hundred dollars. What does that number on the thing say? Okay, that's what the big number says? Yes, What's and the, the little number. They no. both? The little number and the big number say 71. Okay, that's, yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's yeah. just cold. Oh, yeah, those numbers are fine. Okay. Hello, welcome to the party. So, we have karaoke. The guests are over there. The light. And we have some sword fights. Me and Ethan will be putting on a show for her. And I'm red, and he's blue. That's our codes, colors, and that's all we have for today. What about so, drinks? Every club has to have drinks. We have water. Okay, where's mine? I'll go get it. You stay here. <laughs> Hello. So we are singing Lovely by Billie Eilish. If you like, you can sing along too. Thought I found a way. But you never but go you away. Never go away. So I guess so I gotta I guess stay now. Oh, I hope someday I'll make Okay, now they're putting on a samurai show for me. Ooh, be careful. Move that out the way, baby. We don't need that. Ooh, please be careful. Yeah, don't Ooh, aim Jesus. for the body, okay? Don't aim for the face, the body. Y'all making me nervous. Don't aim for any of the Making skin. me nervous. Listen, true, go back. You know I gotta take the robe off. Show these guns. Cause I'm stronger than him. Stronger than him. <laughs> so stronger than you. Says the one who I gave a black eye. Okay, I so only I leaned in. He punched me in the face. Okay, so the... Party is done. The kids club upstairs is over with. Now I am taking off my bandages. Finally about to take um, a shower. Um, I tried to take my bandages off a few hours ago and I started getting lightheaded. Um, I started sweating profusely. Um, I don't know what was going on. I don't know if because I just took off my um, arm garment after over 48 hours. And then taking all the bandages off, I had to go, I literally like lay down and thought I was gonna like pass out. So um, let me just show you a little bit of the bruising that's on my arms without trying to show y'all too much. But there's some bruising, bruising. That's where the tape was, of course. Um, it's my elbow. Let's see this is my other arm that's a lipo hole right there if you guys can see there's another lipo hole right there this is elbow bruising arm bruising and my arm is very swollen all right so now i'm working on taking the bandages off my legs Trying to show y'all without trying to show too much because you two be tripping. So let me take work on taking these off and then I'll show y'all what the um, bruising and lipo holes look like underneath here. There, but if you're just back, I'm watching my girl Sunny. Hey, Lou. Foul. 
But let me go. I'm out of breath, y'all. Let me show y'all my legs. Whew, okay. So focus. So this is like my knee bruising. Let me show y'all a lipo hole. There's a lipo hole right there. Bruising on my calf, which is so weird. But I guess because the lipo hole went right here and they slept on the knee. Um, let me show y'all my other leg. Oh, God, it, it hurts just raising it. Okay, there's a lipo hole. Another lipo hole. Back of my thigh, I really can't show y'all that well, but there's a lipo hole right there. As you can see, lipo holes are very, very small. It's really swollen and tender. Ooh, let me see how this other side is looking. There's bruising, as you can see. So yeah, I'm about to get in the shower. I stink. I feel like I stink. I feel like I smell like blood and piss. I know I smell like blood and piss. Whew, okay. Um, I did take a hydrocodone. That helped with removing the, all this tape from my skin. Oh, Lord Jesus. I feel like I removed a mile of tape from my skin. So that helped me out a little bit. Um, I only saw out of all the lipo holes, I only think like two of them are still oozing. It was one that was on my arm and one that was on uh, the back of my thigh. So I'm going to bathe in the Heba Cleanse. That's the um, antibacterial soap that I bathed with prior to surgery. So I'm going to bathe with that again until my lipo holes are completely closed up. Um, I haven't pooped yet. If y'all care to know, some girls want to know all of this stuff about surgery. So I have not pooped. I've been taking stool softeners since day one. We are at the end of day three. Um, so whenever it does come, it'll come out nice and easy. Um, what else? Still haven't had much of an appetite. I had a smoothie today. I had a granola bar. And then I had five chicken wings and that was it. That's all I've had today. I think I'm gonna, after I take my shower and stuff, I think I'm gonna drink another smoothie, a protein smoothie, just because I feel like I'm not getting enough nutrients and I'm still taking a lot of medication. I'm taking pain pills, stool softeners, um, anti, um, well it's called Arnica, which helps out with bruising, pain and swelling. So I'm on a lot of medicine, but not really eating a lot, so. I think I'm going to drink another protein shake. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I think I'm going to try to put my faha on. I think I'm going to try to put on my stage two faha from my last surgery and see how that goes. So we shall see if I can still fit in it because I've gained a lot of weight. <laughs> I always say this every vlog, but I have. I've gained a lot of weight. It is what it is. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I feel so refreshed. Y'all just do not understand. That shower made me a new woman. So this is how I'm about to be. Um, I'm about to take my sheets off and wash them because they have blood all over them. Sorry if that's TMI for some people. And, oh, this is a stage one faha. I didn't put this on because I'm like, stage one faha really like does nothing. It's so, I don't know if y'all can see. It's so stretchy. Anyway, y'all probably can't see, but this is my stage three Faha. A stage three Faha, if you can look at the material, it's really thick. It doesn't stretch very much. The butt part is like regular legging material, I would say. This is like a heavy duty. Can y'all hear that scratch? It's like a heavy duty material. So I will probably put on, we'll try to put on this stage three Faha probably in about the next maybe two to three days i just need to get acclimated to this first because i mean even though this is stage two it's still very uncomfortable i ain't worn one in over two years all right y'all i'm about to wash these sheets it is 2 20 a.m sleeping pattern just all off let me go hey besties <laughs> 
Do I look cute? Do I look like my normal self now? Maybe, maybe not. My face looks fat. My face always looks fat though. But anyway, um, I know it's been a few days since I picked up my camera. Let me set y'all down. Oh, can y'all see me? I have clothes on. I have a real clothes on. I got a, on a jumper, a denim jacket. Y'all can't see. But anyway, I'm lotioning these feet up. About to go to a doctor's appointment. Well, my follow-up appointment. My best friend is here. She's waiting on me. She's driving me because um, I'm still really sore. So that's where I'm headed to now. We're about to head to. It's four o'clock, my appointment's at five, so I am actually running on time, y'all. Can you believe it? It's probably because she got here early. She's been waiting on me for about half an hour, so if she wasn't picking me up, then that would probably be a different story. Feels good that I'm actually about to leave the house. I have not been out the house since Thursday morning. Thursday morning at what, like 10 a.m.? That was the last time I left out the house. Now here we are Tuesday evening. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. Y'all have seen this before. Do y'all care? Probably so. So I'm just wearing like a stretchy jumpsuit. Yes, I have my faja on. Yes, I have on my uh my arm, whatever they're called, my arm faja. <laughs> whatever, and then just my DD's crop denim jacket. I cropped this myself. It came along. It was $6.99, you know, a little DIY. And then this jumpsuit that I've had for years, it touches the ground. That's why I've always kept it around and it's super stretchy. And I think I got this from Ross for like $10.99 if I'm not mistaken. So this is what I'm wearing to my doctor's visit. So it'll be an easy just, that's all I gotta do, pull it off. <laughs> Ew. Like I said, today's Tuesday. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to venture out by myself maybe by Thursday when it makes a complete week of me uh, being post-op. We'll see, it just depends on how I feel. So, has anything new happened? Has anything new changed? Yes, look at this, y'all. Ah! I get excited about little stuff, look. I got this from Amazon for my perfume. Look, it's so cute. And it's perfect just for, um. I could, of course, push them together and add more perfumes, but this is just like perfect. The height is perfect, just everything. It's just so cute sitting in this corner. So um, if you guys are interested in something like this where you can actually see your perfumes display, cause y'all know I had that little circular tray and I had to like see like, okay, this is Prada. Okay, this is that, this is that. Now I can just look and see everything is displayed. Cause y'all know what they say out of sight out of mind so i like that it's i can see the the face of everything so i can link that down below amazon it was like super cheap what else i feel like i got something else from amazon i feel like i did i just can't remember it must not have been exciting i'm about to put a lip mask on y'all know keeping your lips juicy and supple is important I usually only put that on at night, but I haven't used it in like, I'm about to say a week. Not, it ain't been a week, child. It's been, probably just been a few days, but I like my, like, I like being, staying on top of my skincare. You know, this aged skin doesn't stay smooth and buttery by itself. You know, you gotta put a little work in. <sighs> okay, let me go. And I don't wanna have the camera in my homegirl's face, so I'm gonna put y'all down for a sec. Y'all, I just got back home. It's past seven o'clock. Um, I really thought I was gonna be vlogging today, especially since it was my first time out the house and at my follow-up appointment, but I was just too uncomfortable, just pain-wise. Um, it was just too uncomfortable. I almost passed out at the doctor's office while they were bandaging me back up. It was just too much. Like, I just started sweating profusely. I needed water. My head started, like, everything started going fuzzy, and, yeah, I was about to hit the flow, so. I just, it just, today just wasn't a good day for me to start back vlogging. I thought it would be, but I don't know. It's too soon. I'm still, I'm, I mean, I'm only day five, I guess. 
and just trying to do too much trying to, i know i need to like let my body sit and calm down so i will probably i don't know y'all this might be a, a boring super boring vlog but i might pick y'all back up later on in the week so i just today just wasn't it at all and it may have and it could also be because um because i am bandaged up and wearing a faha then i had to take it all off and i had to stand for so long for pictures for assessment and then i don't know maybe because the blood started circulating and rushing i really don't know what it was but i did have um i had a a, a tea today a shy tea today and i had some baked potato soup around two o'clock and that's all i've had i told y'all my my appetite is just gone but I, this is how i always am after surgery like i never have an appetite so maybe that was the cause of it also i don't know y'all but um i'm just gonna try to pick y'all back up later on later on in the week hey guys happy friday Watching my girl Platinum D on the big screen. Y'all, I am so late. When I tell y'all so late, y'all know, if you didn't know, I usually watch YouTube on my phone. Not on my laptop, not on the iPad, not on the computer. Baby, on my phone for all of these years. And I literally just started watching it on the TV. Game changer, like, I don't know, I just get so excited when I can see like the people who I love to watch on tv it makes them like now i'm like they're reality tv stars like it's different i don't know y'all probably been doing it y'all probably like gina you so old you so late you so behind bitch i ain't fucking know i know you ain't gotta tell me but i'm just when i when i just get on to the wave of new stuff i just get excited so and then i watch longer because honestly when i'm on my phone i skip 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 i ain't gonna lie I know some of y'all do that to my videos too, but you know, I just get in the habit of just skipping and then not cut finishing videos because I get sidetracked from texting and going on Instagram anyway. So I just had to tell y'all, it's a little thing. I'm like a little squirrel. So little things excite me, but can y'all tell I've lost the weight? Face is looking slimmer. Appetite is still not where it needs to be. I had, um... I didn't have a protein shake this morning. I usually have a protein shake every morning or morning and afternoon um, so far for the past like week, week and a half. But um, I actually like woke up really early this morning and I ate some a bowl of oatmeal. So I'm about to get ready right now. I have lunch with friends. So sorry, y'all. My nose is like running a little bit. I don't know why. You know what? I do know why. Because I had to drink a little, like, not protein, but it's like a little healing um, mixture in my water. And the t it tastes weird. So I literally, I shake it up in the water and I just hold my breath and drink it, like, really, really fast. And I picked up the camera. So that's why my nose is running a little bit. But um, so I kind of have, like, a long weekend. The kids just left out the door to go with their dad again. Um, so I'm about to go to lunch with friends uh what's tomorrow tomorrow i start massages so i have a massage set up for tomorrow that movie zola came out i want to say yesterday or last week or whatever i don't know today's the uh today's july 2nd so um it came out a few days ago so i'm gonna go watch that this weekend with my girls so kind of have like a little like cutesy little not doing too much but doing something type weekend so probably bring y'all along with me just for a little bit my friends for some reason really don't like being on camera so i probably won't record too much but i'll try to get as much as i can so i get to get dressed and get cute and socialize i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited y'all all right y'all i'm ready i just put on a little headband wig can y'all see it's really long i don't know if y'all can even see it's almost you see it's almost to my butt but just a little headband wig, no makeup, of course. Um, some little silver hoop earrings that I got from AliExpress. Dee's crap jacket, a dress. I think this is from Image like years ago. I don't know, but this is what I'm wearing. My little YSL bag and then some clear slides. So just simple, but still cute. You know, I'm still swollen. I'm still sore. So 
you know, I don't want to do too, too much. Uh, I took me a Tylenol 3 about 30 minutes ago. So I, <laughs> I can be as comfortable as I can with this long drive, a 30 minute drive ahead of me. And then while I'm sitting eating. So yeah, let's pick up my perfume. Oh, y'all look. My belt came in. This is the Versace belt. This just came in yesterday. I think yesterday or the day before yesterday. Anyway, do we have the price tag on here? Mm, no, I want to say. Let me see. Okay, this belt was $4.95. So not too bad. I mean, like a Gucci belt. I think I paid about five, five or six hundred for my Gucci belt that I really don't even wear. But I like this one better. It's cute. It's different. But anyway, we need to pick out a perfume. Uh, daytime. Daytime. Lunch with girls. I think we're going to go with the Tiff. Uh, let's do Prada Candy. Prada Candy for the win. I'm a very generous sprayer. I tell y'all that all the time. I don't do just... A spray behind my ear and a spray on my wrist no i'm a very generous sprayer no shame and y'all look at all of these oh my god look at all these sponsorships for hair that i gotta do and i got one on the way and one in the kitchen that i need to dye i think this is like 12 all together what's that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one on the way that's 13 in the kitchen 14. I've actually stopped taking hair reviews for now. I told them to everybody who's messaging me to contact me back in September. <laughs> so I, my plan is to honestly not do as many hair reviews, even though they pay. Baby, hair reviews pay. And I ain't talking no $500, $600. Baby, hair reviews pay. They the bread and butter. But I want to get into... Just more doing other stuff. Like, hair reviews are cool. They're cool for me, cool for my pockets. But I just want to bring y'all something different, and I think y'all would appreciate it. So I do have sponsorships right there on the ground. That's like four different sponsorships. Two of them are clothing. Three of them are, cl three of them are clothing, actually. Um, and accessories. So, yeah, I just want to be bringing y'all some different content. I know y'all... Some of y'all appreciate the hair, but then some of y'all, y'all y'all don't care about hair reviews in every vlog, you know? So I just don't want to bring that anymore. So I told companies not to contact me again until September. And when September rolls around, I want to just do maybe, I was saying maybe just three hair reviews a month. I'm thinking that's a good number three hair reviews a month. If I put out videos twice a week, that would just be one hair review. And then, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But anyway, I know I'd be just be talking y'all heads off. Anything at my door? Nope. I'm actually expecting something from Off-White. They tried to deliver it yesterday, but I was asleep, I guess. They claimed that they came at 1030. I, I, I didn't hear no doorbell. The kids didn't hear the doorbell, but yet there was a FedEx sticker on my door, which I found rather odd. Oh, let me go get my um my sunglasses. Yeah, there was a FedEx sticker on my door. So yeah, I am expecting something from Off White. I've never purchased from them. I've never tried on their stuff, so I don't know how it fits. Jada Waiter had this outfit on, and I'm like, oh my god, it's so freaking cute. And I waited a few days because Off White is just so expensive. Oh lord. Anyway, I'm going to just do probably a collective haul with you guys later on down the line. Hello. Hey, you on the way? Yes, ma'am. Just putting on my sunglasses. Okay, y'all. So, y'all know how I bought that, um, what's it called? The, um, uh, the mount. The windshield mount. That's what it's called. It's sitting right here on my floor, too. Y'all know how I bought that windshield mount but I don't use it anymore. So I just ordered this from Amazon, which is a rubber flap thingy, and it's made for your dashboard. You're supposed to be able to put your keys up there, your cell phone, without anything sliding around. So I'm gonna put this on my dashboard and put my camera on there, and we are gonna hope and pray that it does what it needs to do. I have 
have missed y'all so much. Like, literally, me not really filming this past week. Like, I just... I don't know, like, but I feel good today. I'm like so happy to have the camera back. Ooh, it's really sticky. I'm so happy to have the camera back on, talking to y'all, wanna get consistent again. Oh my God, y'all, this is like, ew, and it stinks. Ew, it's, it stinks. What in the world? Hold on, is this gonna leave a little sticky mark on my dashboard? Oh God. Ew, it feels so nasty. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just, can y'all even see? Focus. Can y'all see that? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let me put my hand next to it so you can kind of get a, a visual of the size. My hands are tiny anyway. I wear a size four on my finger. In case any um, eligible bachelors out there want to put a ring on your girl, I wear a size four. But, um, ew, y'all, this is like... Gross. Let me put y'all on here. Oh, that ain't going no. That ain't going nowhere. That is gonna catch so much lint. I see it now. Ew, any bugs that that's it feels like if a mosquito flies in my car, a mosquito's gonna get trapped on here. It's so sticky, but I think it's going to do the job. I hope they do not try to deliver my package while I'm gone again. I think that's what I was trying to tell y'all earlier, but I got sidetracked. They're going to, they're supposed to attempt a second delivery today. And then if I don't uh, sign for it today, then I actually have to go to the FedEx, um, what's it called? Station, uh, whatever, and uh, pick it up from there. So, let us hope and pray. Yesterday was t is 10 a.m. that they came. Right now, it's 12.30, so hopefully they don't try to come till like 5 or later, because I will be home. Okay, we may have done something. Let me turn this cone. Let me try to do a little sharp corner turn. Hold on. Oh, bitch. Oh, shit. Bitch. Okay. And this is only $6. So I will link it down below. I don't know if any of y'all vlog who watch me or y'all care. But, but it said it was for keys and cell phones. Wow. Wow. It just feels nasty. But I mean, who's going to be touching it every day? It's on your dashboard. And this is sh piece of shit. I just keep seeing it rocking back and forth these do not work at all california scents air fresheners they don't work california scents are good for those little um canister things air fresheners that like go underneath your seat they're good for that this was a total waste of money total it was a three pack for i probably paid i don't know three dollars waste i need to throw this probably this other pack away too i think i got a, uh, another scent i sure in the freak did maybe these are Maybe these will actually have a smell. These have no smell. Zero. None. Not even when you open the package. I was like, what the hell? They literally just stole my money. Should have just stuck to the trees. The old faithful trees. Okay, y'all. Let me put um let me put this in my GPS because I've never been to this restaurant. A homegirl of mine, she posted on Instagram this morning saying that she was like i've lived in houston my entire life but yet i still have to use a gps for everything when the slaves escaped on the underground railroad they followed stars and moss on the trees but yet here it is i've lived my entire life in the city of houston and i can't get from a to b without using a gps and i just felt that in my heart and soul because i that is me that is i she is we we here and i'm like girl yes that's how i am sadly i can go to hey i'm about to say my friend's house really not even my friend's house i can get to jennifer's parents house that's my best friend my other friends i gotta use a gps i gotta use a gps to get to my sister's house uh i can get to the mall without a gps but coming home from the mall if i go to, if there's like traffic and i gotta go down the back Girl, I'm just, I'm the GPS queen. Can you, sir? 
Dang. Um, I am GP. I just felt that what she was saying. If anybody else is like that, y'all please let me know in the comments. So I, I, when she said, I was like, I don't feel alone now. Uh, Cause I get embarrassed if I'm riding with people, especially like dudes like my ex. Oh, and especially Trill. Oh, he was the human. He called himself the human compass. Literally, he can. You you just tell him an address. He doesn't. He never uses GPS, and he can get there with the quickness. I have no clue how he does it. He would always just say, "I was. I've been out here forever. I've been here forever. How do you not know? How? How? I mean, he's like, it's not abnormal for me to know. It's abnormal for you not to know how where to go. Okay, let me follow the GPS because I'm gonna keep talking because I'm just so excited to be back on camera. <laughs> Yes, I'm parked in a handicap. Don't judge. Your girl. It's pretty much handicapped the way I'm feeling. How <laughs> shit. The place I'm going to, Urban, Urban Eats. No ma'am. I'm handicapped. Oh, that's my home girl. Let me wait for her. I'm gonna stand out here and wait for her. Let me tell y'all how hot I am. Just, this is Houston heat at 1 p.m. I have on a tank top. I have on a faja. I have on arm fajas. I don't know what the fuck they're called, but arm fajas. I have on a dress and I have on a denim jacket to cover everything up. Oh, and I have on a wig. I'm hot. So if they're trying to sit outside, that's a, that's a, a hell no. Hi there. I did not. I'm thinking that you just wrote it. I, I look. No, I. I'm talking to the camera, and then I hear the horn honking. I'm thinking that they're honking at you because you're about to hit the truck. No. And say hi to the camera. Can you? This my friend Jennifer, y'all. Y'all done seen me. her. Yeah, I know her. Y'all know me. <laughs> oh, it's like a market. That's what it looks like a market, right? Oh, okay. Well, I, I, yeah. I can walk upstairs. They're probably in the corner somewhere. Oh, there she go. Uh-huh. I, I see her in the corner. Hi, ladies. How are y'all? You want me to go in? Thank you. I didn't. I'm like, I'm like, who is this honking at me? Like a maniac. It was, it was you. Bro. It was her. Yes. I said I'm handicapped for the day. I have the Honestly. same exact glasses. These. Oh, well, no, no, not exact, not exact. Not exact. Mine may be replica. I don't know what those are. These are replica. I don't wear nothing but replica. Oh, okay. I mean, not replica, but I mean. They look, no, they look. Like, they're not. Yeah. Like, okay. how about Amazon sunglasses? Okay. DD, okay. so some Marshall? The, they like, might be the same. They probably are. I, think they, yeah. I probably pay like $4 for these. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm probably, yeah. I'm a I know, me too. Girl, you better make a statement. Yeah. You got regular wings? With peach barbecue. Oh, so you should tell what. Uh uh, uh, -uh. no man. Say hi to YouTube. Here you go, babe. Brasserie with sweet potato. This one's mine. Uh -huh. Oh, brasserie. Yes. There's Thank waffle you. fries on there. What bit? There's a oh, waffle yeah, fry on there. Is. They're pretty good. This show is a waffle fry on there. <laughs> Awesome. Camera on the artichoke. Oh, not in my face. <laughs> so, I am trying trying the artichoke because I saw a YouTube video talking about how artichoke blasts belly fat. It um it revs up the it detoxes little, your liver. A little bit louder, just so it can kind of drown out the music. Okay, so it artichoke is supposed to detox your liver to help rev up belly fat blasting. So when I saw it on the menu, I was like, I gotta try it. Artichoke. Okay, all right. So we are all about to try yeah. this artichoke. Yes. <laughs> about to try. <laughs> when you know what to do, you go. Really? I know I eat fries with a fork around here. Chanel, tell her how to do it. That's just how you do that. Really? Really? Okay, okay, well, you know, how those little things, you actually need to like peel them back. Like, yeah, like this. Yeah. And so, so that's how you do it? it? That's soft right here? This? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. it's, so don't eat this. I don't think you eat that. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, her flavor is so good. YouTube, she's crazy. <laughs> the flavor. She said YouTube, she's crazy. Okay, can you, can you peel me a leaf? Really, Jennifer? Okay, now nah, she made me. Look at her, she gagging. The flavor. Okay. It's the texture. It's the everything. <laughs> I can, I can eat it. I can't see, I told you. Oh, Nene, <laughs> really? And yeah, you heard me go. Yes. But th th there's artichoke dip, though, right? Yeah, but it's finally, yeah. Oh, it's finally. It's the heart of it. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. So that's why you keep talking about getting to the middle of it. Get to the heart of it. Okay, go to the middle then. Literally. That's the middle. I don't see the heart. You don't even know what that is. What is that? I don't. But it's said, why don't you choose white instead of orange? Because it was closest to me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's, I will not do well, it. let's dip on this side. I didn't, but I thought uh, it's the Chanel just said, don't eat this thing. It's like the whole. You can't chew it. I can't. 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 I
I said, ooh, that's the power of like, you know, influence, social media influence. She posted it. I saw it on her page the next day. I put it in my cart the day after that sold out. Crazy. So let's see. Let us see. This is how the stuff comes packaged and comes packaged in little plastic baggies that say off white. What is these? Oh, this is a shirt. Mm. I got this shirt in a medium. Should I have gotten a large? Let's see. This is the top that just say off. Has little arrows on the side. Off active. And then I got the matching bottoms the bottoms say off with their little shoestring detail that they always got these don't look like a large is this a large yeah I say large yeah these leggings was three hundred dollars if they don't fit they will be going right on back they have a return po oh wow these leggings look tight look at that thigh this is the thigh. This is the whole thigh. Right by the crotch. Yeah, this might not fit. This might not fit you, girl. That's a large. Baby. Baby, they got a 14-day return policy, so I'll be trying that on, and I'll be getting my money back. Them leggings was $300. This shirt, you might as well say, was $300 also. It was like $260, I think. So, yeah. That waist looks so small that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull that waist up over over both hips. I don't know, but I pulled put one leg in. Y'all know I'm still in a lot of pain, very swollen, very sore. So I just pulled it up over one thigh, and I mean I pulled it, you know, like I pulled it all the way up. So I just let's see how it goes over this butt though and both hips. I don't know. I'll try it in a few more days. But I might as well show y'all my Zara stuff. I went to the Zara um, sale. Y'all y'all know I am a new Zara shop shopper. I just started shopping at Zara whenever they had their very first Zara sale. When was that? January? December? So I've only been shopping at Zara for a few months. That's what I'm trying to get to. So I didn't know that they had that huge sale more than once a year. I went to Zara to return something. And baby... <laughs> I got some stuff. So let me just show y'all. I wish I could try it on for y'all. But like I said, your girl is in pain. So that ain't about to happen. Okay, so first thing is this. Let me turn. Let me turn this volume down. Lord. Okay, so the first thing I got is this gold chain. Y'all know I already have one. Y'all always ask me about it. I got it from Marshalls. Um, I think it's by Cynthia Raleigh. I'm almost positive. 99.9% .9 sure I'm positive. But this one is from Zara. It's more of like an antique gold, which I like. It matches my um, Chanel 19 bag. And it was $18, but I got it for $8. Then I got this wooden necklace. I thought this would be cute for like the summertime with like maxi dresses or just anything. I don't have a necklace like this. And if y'all are OGs, if y'all remember when I moved into this house, I left all of my necklaces. Every last necklace that I owned, I left it in my old house because it was hanging on a necklace rack in my closet behind the door. So I literally had like 30 necklaces. So when I moved into this house, all that, all that I had left were the two necklaces that I wore that I was wearing and thank God I was wearing them because they were real gold and they were my mom's necklaces. So I'm just so grateful to that. So anyway, so not to say I replaced necklaces. So even though this might not be my style, this is something good to have in my collection. Just, you know, cause I'm trying to build my necklace collection back up. This one was $20. I got it for $8. Then I did get two rings. Big plastic rings are like back in style now. I remember when I was, so I got a blue one and a reddish one, like a reddish pinkish. But um, these were $18 each, and they were $8. That says $12.99, but it rang out for $8. So why were these $18 for a plastic ring? Like literally a gumball ring. That's what, girl. So then let me, let me lay this stuff flat. Maybe that'll. 
So this is a seamless bodysuit. It's like a grayish with like a purple undertone. It sounds crazy, but it's gray, but it in the in different lighting, it almost looks like a very light lavender. So anyway, it's a medium large. It was $30. I don't know why this was $30, but it was $30 and I got it for $15.99. Then I got these pants. They are extremely, extremely stretchy. Um, they rang up as leggings, but to me, they're more like a pant kind of. I don't know. This is how the bottom looks. Has a little split. Don't even know if they're long enough. Y'all know I always have problems with length for pants. But thankfully, Zara does returns even on sale items. I don't know what the regular price was, but I got them for $16. Then I got these seamless leggings. They're like a medium gray color. I love this thick material. But um, y'all see how tiny they look? But they are super stretchy, so hopefully they fit good. Um, they were $25.90. I got them for $9.99. I, I love those. I'm really hoping those fit good. This was my best find, I think. It's a um, kind of like a mock turtleneck bodysuit, sleeveless, super stretchy. I love this material. Zips down, and it zips down deep. And it says $15.99, but it rang up $9.99. So this was a steal. Like, I really, I really like that one. Then the last item I got is this shirt. Um, I think this is kind of like a Jacquemus inspired top. It's like a thick, like dress shirt material. That's the only way I can explain it. It's like a thick, yeah, dress shirt, like a utility shirt. Then it has this little band that like goes around your stomach. So we'll see. And it's super cropped. So we'll see how it fits. It was a little bit more than I wanted to pay. It was originally 50 and I paid 30 for it. So, and I wish I had gotten a, in a large just because Probably can't tell on camera, but this is extremely wide. Like, y'all know I have a very small stomach, so for th this is very wide. But I'm hoping once I put this band on and pair it with some jeans that the look comes together. But if not, I got 30 days to return it. So yeah, y'all. That's my Zara haul. I think for all of this with tax, I paid $123. And I had a return for $45, so... I didn't even technically pay 123 so there's we have another zara at um i went to the galleria we have another zara i think at memorial city mall yeah memorial city mall so in a few days once i can try that stuff on and whatever doesn't work out i'll probably return it to memorial city mall so i can see the sale stuff that they have i need to see how long the sales going on i don't even know when it started or nothing because i've been out of the mall for close to two weeks so okay i'm about to lay down i'm watching youtube on my tv i'm about to drink my water i'm undressed i'm hoping number two starts flowing out i've only had one number two since thursday last thursday one or did i have two of them no i have one I have one number two since last Thursday. So I'm hoping, and I think that was on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That was like Sunday or Monday. We're now on Friday. So I'm hoping something comes today. It kind of feels like something is like working its way down my gut. So if this is TMI for y'all, I'm sorry. This ain't the channel for you. But uh, so yeah, I've been taking my stool soft, two stool softeners a day. So whenever it does decide to come out, it's gonna be just easy breezy, just like a train, just flowing. Y'all, it's midnight. I had a long, long, long ass nap. I took my faha off and I just felt so comfortable and I fell asleep for literally like two hours. It's midnight, so I'm actually making something to eat right now. I packaged up my off-white stuff. I was sad, but it did not fit. I th honestly think they mismarked my leggings. I really think they're a small or a medium. Not even a medium. I think they're a size small, and they accidentally put a large tag on it. That's the, I've never, I've been a size large all my life. And I've never seen a pair of leggings that small, ever, 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 ever. But anyway, I'm making me a little quick meal. Nothing even um, spectacular. I got chicken cutlets. 
right here. I got the sausage there, and I got some rice. And I'm just making me a little quick little dinner. I could have went to Whataburger and just got something real quick, like a salad or something. But I'm like, I don't want to drive, leave my house, spend money when I got, you know, I got food here at the house. So I'm really trying to get out of just trying to do everything convenient, 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 convenient. Especially when it comes to food, because I'm like, this chicken could have went bad in like a day or two. Sausage. So I'm like, let me go. Yep, yes, I do have my stage three faja. Sorry. Don't know why I'm letting the grease pop on top of my faja, but I have, that's my stage three faja. I'm gonna try to put it on after I eat. I might try to put it on before I eat. Just because them stage three faja, they don't really stretch. And y'all know I really don't need the faja. I was not told to wear it because I only got lipo on the back of my thighs, my knees and my arms, that's it. So I just kind of want to wear it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to sleep in a stage three faja and I don't need to. Ugh. I don't know, I just want to try it on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pressing it. Like, I, I don't know.